Hey everybody, how you doing? Let me get this up so you can see my face. This is about to be a really fun video, but I was up all night melting this gel down. No joke. I think I went to bed at four and got back up at seven or something. But it's about to be muzzleloader season in Tennessee, so we're out here shooting muzzleloader. But got to thinking, I have never seen anyone make a ballistics gel video with muzzleloaders. So here's what we're gonna do. We already chronographed these three different powder loads. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. But I've got a 245 grain power belt, and then we're gonna shoot this gel once with each load. 50 grain, 100 grain, and 150 grain powder loads and these are just those power decks pellets and judging off the speeds which we already know if you haven't seen it it's kind of cheating since we know the speeds but these are 50 cal bullets and i think we ought to be able to catch all three of them in this much gel this is what 36 inches of gel ought to be pretty cool i'm gonna try to get some slow-mo cameras going on the gel so we can see what it does but I think we're gonna catch all of them. 50 grain, 100 grain, 150 grain. Let's get to shooting, check out what it does to this gel, and hopefully we can catch them. All right, I got the gel blocks lined up down there. I got the 50 grain load in here, but I didn't put a primer, so let me grab a primer quick. And we're gonna shoot them right in a row and try to go quick. 50 grain, 100 grain, and then 150 grain. If I can get this primer loaded in here. There we go. I can just about guarantee you we're gonna catch it in this gel, but let's see what happens with it. I hope I can hit it. There we go. Did I hit the gel? Oh, right, so. That first pop went off and then I flinched. At 50 grain, I don't know what it was. I might need to clean this gun. All right, here's a 50 grain powder charge. See if I can hit that gel here. Hopefully I can. Oh, I caught it. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Sweet. Well, we caught the first bullet. Let's load up the 100 grain charge. But well, it went into the second block. There's one pellet, two pellet, and a bullet. Well, that makes me happy we caught the bullet at least. I figured we would. Now there's a hundred grain charge. Get this primer down in this one. See what happens with the hundred grain. All right, here's the hundred grain charge. See if this goes all the way through it. That one definitely has some more kick on it. It's not flopping the, the blocks up though. That You know, like when we hit it with a 450 Bushmaster or something? Yep. Almost. It's almost like we're hitting it with a, a pistol round. All right, primer in. Safety on. Then I'm gonna pop three of these. 50 charges in here. I know you're not supposed to touch them. It'd be all right. Then one of these bullets. And this thing's super dirty, but I think I can still cram one of these down in there. Oh yeah. Now, let's see what happens with this one. Got the slow-mo running out there.
You know what? That scope came and hit me in the face. I wasn't resting it. That hurt. Smashed my glasses in my face. You're not budding, are you? I don't know yet. Yeah. You gotta be prepared for that 150 grain. But let's run up there and take a look at the gel real quick. All right, so hopefully we had some good slow-mo footage for you guys and seeing those bullets zing through there. But normally when you shoot a block with a rifle around, it, boom, and you really see the gel either flip off when we shoot it with 458 SOCOM or 450 Bushmaster, those blocks just completely do a backflip and fly off the table. So that was almost like shooting with a pistol round. But look at those travel lanes through that block. That is super cool. Let's look at it from the top. You can see those real distinct one, two, then three. Whichever that one was, looks like it was tearing something up, something real good. That must have been the last one. You can see how these lines are real skinny and kind of defined. Then that one's like, hey, I'm messing you up real good. But there's one. That must have been the 50 grain one. Barely made it into the second block. And then hmm yep then the hunter grain one is right here almost left and then it looks like one of them did come out the back but let's uh see if we can cut those out of here real quick uh the hunter grain charge and the 150 grain charge left yeah there's two little bitty holes out the back oh i could have swore i seen that hunter in there nope Yep, both of them's gone. So there's only one bullet in here for us to dig out. And that's the uh, 50 grain powder charge. Yeah, there it is right there. There it is. Check that out. So 245 grain power built. 50 grains went through about 20 inches of gel. Then both the 100 and the 150 grain zinged through both of those but pretty cool hopefully we got some good slow-mo footage and yeah there's the round didn't do any expanding or anything like that i don't know the other ones may have going a lot faster but i can tell you one thing if you shoot a deer with these i've never had one go more than 20 30 yards but pretty cool stuff Thanks for watching the video today, guys. Let me know if you guys like muzzle loaders and if you've ever seen any gel tests with muzzle loaders or maybe some different rounds. But big shout out and a big thanks to the Heavy Metal channel. You guys go check them out and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe to Hootie Hoo if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie Hoo!